In episode 12 of Enigmatic 6 Expert, we make more bees, in particular the nickel bee, the tin, gold, lapis, quartz. We talk about the alloy bees, and we capture a zombie and the ec epic Oreo bees. I hope you enjoy the episode. Let's get it on. Now we have quite a lot of metals, so let's have a look at gold. Might be too high a tier to start with. Gold is nickel and water. Well, water is a um, one that spawns in the world, but nickel is not. So let's have a look at nickel. That's a copper bee and an RGB, which we've got RGBs, I know that. We've just made the copper bee, so he needs a block of copper, and the RGB needs... Um, is it any flower? Yeah, I think it's pretty much any flower. Oh, the copper bee is a, a baby, isn't it? So it needs to grow up before um, before it can breed. Because, you know, we're not going to... Uh, yeah, I'm not saying any more than that. Now they don't call it an epic Oreo for nothing. Wow. Yeah, you can't breed that copper bee because it's a baby. <laughs> so, and you can see there in the... Um, top tool tip at the top there 766 seconds before it grows up so we'll just um, we'll leave the copper bean here That's our nickel bee. What we're going to do today is a little bit of automation. And that little bit of automation is just for our um, apiaries. So what we're going to do is make some pretty pipes. And extraction modules. Quite straightforward. Uh, the pipe wrench you can get from a quest reward on the... Uh, one of these automation um, yep there so tick box collect the pipe wrench so you don't need to make that um, I have previously made some pretty pipes but I, I didn't record the episode so this is just going back over that pretty oh that's the fluid pipe pretty pipes is is create shafts two tin plates and a piece of glass pretty straightforward if I do say so myself so let's see tin so a couple of tin and we want plates and keep saying it but one day you never know that piece of block of wood there might be uh, something else we need some shafts uh, we need some more shafts so let's just andesite alloy then we can make to get in some glass some pretty pipes what we will also need is at least two extraction modules these again are pretty basic recipes copper nuggets stone slabs which is just three stone in a row and a piece of redstone and a redstone servo, which is just redstone and either iron, tin or lead rods. Uh, the lead rod recipe makes two, so you could do lead plates. Don't see any reason why not to. So if we take uh, a couple of lead ingots, make them into plates, and then in the meantime grab some redstone. And we'll do that recipe to make the rod. And then that recipe makes two servos. And then we need to make... Uh, oh, I need some copper nuggets and stone slabs, don't I? So copper nuggets... Oh, luckily, got enough. Stone slab... 
Oops. Oh, again, luckily enough. So we can make the blank modules and then the extraction module. And setting up pretty pipes is quite easy thing to do. And of course it's night time again. Why? Of course it is. I did make some storage drawers and pop them up there just to put the bulk of the uh, combs in that we had. Uh, I had. I did take the bees out. There's only the gold bee in there at the minute. Uh, just so we can get some automation going. Otherwise we're going to get flooded with combs. So the thing to remember with pretty pipes is you cannot output and input on the same piece of pipe. So you need at least two pipes to a storage. Then take the extraction module and just right click it into that pipe section there. And then you'll see pipes come out and go into storage. There are three extraction modules and each one will pull more and at a faster rate. Now yeah, I'm on a hunt for a zombie, as in not the mob, but a, an actual bee. Now, according to the list of biomes, the uh, this one here is it the flower? Let's see what it updates. Flower forest, yeah. According to the list of biomes, this one is one that has the zombie. So just need to find some hives and or. The actual bee itself. Now it is night time, so oh, what's this? Not a good time to do it. Now it's a fly. Also, quite difficult to spot because of all the flowers, and there's a lot of mobs about. And we also don't know whether this mob comes out in the daytime or not. Uh, yeah, night vision on the uh, epic Oreos. It doesn't just become daytime. <laughs> we'll go back to night time in a second. So, quick look around while we can. Looking for moving white dots. Here's a hive. Right, there's two bees in that hive. So, possibly. What was that? Whizzing around. Oh, it's a hummingbird. So quite possibly there are bees that I need in this hive. But we'll have to wait till daytime, which it isn't at the minute. I still have night vision. Oh, well there's one of them, RGB and a forest bee. Uh, I'm saying I still have night vision. I'm, I'm, oh, I do, yeah. So it must be daytime anyway. Ah. That could quite well be what we're looking for. Um, oh no, it's a brutish one. <laughs> they attack you. No, that's definitely not what we're looking for. Uh, you can't do anything with those. <laughs> but it looked a bit big to be a, a, a bee. It's a skelly bee. Already got one of those, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll carry on looking. Oh, it's two bees in there. Now, at the risk of angering them, oh, I don't have any shears. Thought I did. Yes, at the risk of angering them, I could break that hive, but um, I won't do that because it might have what we need. We'll just wait here a second and see what comes out. You know what, we're going to break this. We'll break this hive and then take the consequences. And that actually has what we're, we're after, uh, but they're obviously angry. You can't capture angry bees, by the way. The other thing I noticed is there's an Epicorio bee in there. So hopefully by the time he gets to me, he's going to be less angry. Right, there we go. He's not angry anymore. And the other one was uh, a zombie, and he's just de -aggroed. So there we go. Nice double catch. Um, pick the hive up as well. 
top, picked the top. Can remember where it was. Up there. So there's our Epic Oreo B. Uh, we'll take this ordinary one as well, because, well, why not? Good for honey. Let's have a couple of them. They're good for honey, so we'll never know in the future. But yeah, that's where we get the uh, zombie and epic Oreo bee from, in this case. Right, I'll see you back at home. So right now I'm holding the zombie uh, hostage with his uh, zombie flesh in my hand. Well, the forest bee comes out and then we're going to breed them both together and that will hopefully make the tin bee. And that's the tin bee. Also, if you were wondering about uh, alloy bees, like bronze and all the other alloys, uh, look at the recipe for the filled bee jar and the induction smelter. And this is how you make the alloy bees. So you need a tin honeycomb, three copper honeycombs, empty bee jar and an induction smelter will give you the bronze bee. And that works for pretty much all the um, alloy bees. So the electron bee should be silver and gold. Uh, so on and so forth. So a useful bit of information. Oh, a couple of things. I've put some elevators in and they actually go up to the roof. Um, don't know whether I'm going to do anything up here, but certainly a nicer view. And they go all the way down to the bottom level where I've still got the waystones in, but I thought I'd put some elevators in. The other thing is I left the, the chunks loaded overnight I do play on a server uh, and we've got a few honeycombs so <laughs> these are sooty ones which is uh, coal um, tar I think it is and uh, sulfur you get from these so you centrifuge them into coal chunks and bit bitumen chunks now the bitumen ones they um, give you oh they give you bitumen right okay so it can be used as fuel and it seems to be in every recipe where there's coal or charcoal or any other sort of fuel. We've got copper ones, iron ones. Oh, sorry. The other thing is, of course, it gives you the coal chunks. And if you crush those, you get sulfur luck or a 50% chance of. And I've got quite a bit of sulfur from just a couple of stacks. So that's good. Um, copper ones. They give you a, a chance at three gold nuggets and then obviously grinding or crushing, sorry, the chunk, you can get some more gold and chance to triple up. Um, iron gives you nickel and uh, there's nickel on here. I don't think nickel gives you um, anything. Oh, it gives you iron. And then the chunk itself gives you more chance at iron. And then we've got tin which gives you osmium and then crushed tin will give you more chance at more os osmium and plus a chance at tripling up as well so <clears throat> first things first we're going to make the nickel bee uh, not nickel bee we're going to use the nickel bee um, with the water bee to create um, something and I've forgotten what it was so right click on here, bee flowers, no bee breeding. So nickel and water makes gold. That's it. So I need the nickel bee and he's just popped back in here, I think. Nickel. So let's lock him and export it. Um, 
click on it and then export it. So nickel and water. So water is um, four of these seed grasses. And then the nickel one is just a block of um, nickel. Now I'm going to do it. Um, the only problem with doing it with the hive in is that um, it's going to dart straight into the hive. This one full? No, it's not. Um, as soon as I put him down, he'll go straight into the hive. I know he will. So let's do that. Oops. Come with your water one. There we go. And then I can pick the nickel one, the water one back up, as well as this gold one. Lovely. So that's gold got. Um, I'm going to keep the bees out. Uh, certainly the nickel bee. And in fact, I might take some of the others out as well. <laughs> Because we're getting a little bit too much stuff and we're not ready for it yet. So let's um, lock these three uh, to iron and copper. We'll take them out. Where's your... Oh, just come back in. And this guy. The coal bee. We will put the gold bee in there. So he can go and make gold, gold combs. Um, what we like for stuff down here, so that's wood, um, an RGB. Now the RGB combs used to make dyes, I don't know if they still do, yeah they do look. Right, we need beeswax and the flower but they do make all the different coloured dyes. So I kind of want to keep the RGB going because I don't know how useful it's going to be later but we need to pick the woody bee up. Um, because we don't want any more wood. There's enough combs there to make a lot of wood. And we've got the same problem as before. With the flowers. It's a bit weird this. I don't know why it does this. Have to break and replace and then it'll start working with new bees. It's kind of a bit weird. Come on, come on out. So we could do with a chest down here, I think. Oh, in fact, we've got one there. Yeah, I can just put them in here. So we'll keep them separate. Iron, copper, tin. Uh, Soot is the coal bee. And nickel. Now, I think we've got some more work to do with the water bee. Um, and it's the water and sooty bee, I believe. I've got what it makes. Right, it's the RGB. Oh, I've got flour on me end. Right, it's becoming night time, so we'll go pop back and sleep. Um, so that should just be getting gold bees, uh, gold in now. We don't want any more, any more combs until we've got a way to automatically um, process them. Why can't I feed this bee? Oh, it's because he's just bred. Nuts. Uh, I'm not sure what the water bee's flower is actually. If it's um, is it um, normally flowers? Yeah, it's just normal flowers, right? Okay. Now this beehive's full, which is the reason why he's just wandering around. So we'll pick those up. The two woody bees and pop them in here. It's no wonder we've got so much wood comb under there then if there's been two in.
And what we're going to be doing over the next few episodes is uh, two things. We're going to be making uh, power. And we need to make this centrifuge. We can't also make the hand-cranked one, but we need this one. And this one has steel in it. And this circuit back plate. Uh, so we're going to need to make uh, deployers and get into a power. Now power to make the dielectric paste is actually in the mixer. Uh, we haven't got tar. I haven't seen any silicon I don't believe either yet. Oh right, that's just furnished nether quartz, that's fine. Um, tar. I'm not sure where we get tar from, whether we're going to need one of these. Probably the pyrolyzer. Um, well, the centrifugal separator, yeah, because we've got bitumen. And that will give us uh, tar. It gives us oil as well. Interesting. But I don't know how far down the line that is. So lead blocks easy enough. These wall mounts is easy enough. Um, Constantin we haven't got yet. So we're going to need to get into alloying, um, which brings me to my second thing. And that is, um, we're going to need the induction smelter at some point as well. The reason for that is that to get the alloy bees, any alloy bees, it says they're in the tooltip that are created by running the base being appropriate honeycomb blocks to an induction smelter. Um, that's not entirely true. You look at the recipe for the actual bee and then go on induction smelter, the bee jar, sorry. Go on the induction smelter and you'll see that it's just a nickel honeycomb block, a copper honeycomb block and an empty bee jar. So I'm not quite sure what it means by running the base B and appropriate honeycomb blocks on induction smelter because it's just a an empty B jar. So we need at some point the induction smelter. Uh, I had a look at this recipe and I'm pretty sure we can make this now. Well, we do have a blast furnace upstairs, but that again is, is simple enough to make. I think the only issue was... Um, in fact, I don't think there was an issue. We've already made Invar, so we can make that. I know that much. So we can get the induction smelter now. Right, let's see whether this bee is ready to breed. I'll need the other one to come out. And it's the sooty bee, isn't it? So, yep. And that should give us a lapis bee. Now, as I said before, we're going to do metals in that one and gems in this one. And that's not validated. So to validate it, you click this uh, preview there. You see, you'll see the walls are one too far this way. So you, what you do is you actually move the opposite direction, which is a bit weird, uh, and then validate again. And if you get this GUI come up, then you've done it right. So we'll pop our lapis beam there. And unlock. And there is a flower in here. Now what I will do is put the other two bees I've just picked up back in here so the breeding timeout will carry on but I must remember to pick that sooty bee up because we don't want any more really any more sooty combs now let's just make sure this little fella's okay with the flower nope looks like he wants to go and play in the one next door Oh, just angered that bee. It 
Still doesn't want to know, does he? Um, let's just make sure the lapis bee needs flowers, but I think they all do. I don't think this has uh, been changed. Yeah, it's flowers. They, they just seem a bit strange with them. Are you still angry? No. Uh, is it this flower that they're after? Oh, oh crap. I'm going to end up killing all my bees doing this. Because they're stingier and they lose life. So... Right, so he seems happy now, and he's pollinating as well, and so is this one. How much life? You know, he's only lost one hit point. Not bad. What I am going to need is uh, to offload all the produce from here. Got 12 already. Oh, the other thing is, um, you probably just noticed then, it says not eaten yet. So, because we've got Spice of Light Carrot Edition, you can actually eat one, one each of these, and they all count as separate food uh, for additional life points. So, remember that when you're creating new bees. And you're getting new combs. You can eat all these. Always love it. Skeletons running away from wolves. They don't want to play with the bones. Let's just have a quick look where we go from here then. Um, the emerald and diamond bees are uh, too far out. Now, the reason I say that is because... Um... don't think... Do we have a slimy bee? Oh, we do have a slimy bee. We've got the lapis bee. We haven't found a quartz bee, I don't believe. Oh... Uh, no. So, we could go into the nether with our very, very limited flight and try and find a quartz bee. Now, quartz bees are usually very biome-specific in the nether. So you can see there, they, they're only in the nether. Uh, let's have a look, where are we? Where's the biome listed? No? No biome listing. Maybe they're everywhere then. Have a look on the actual bee itself. So, spawns in the world. Ah, false. Okay. Right. So, to get the quartz bee, we have to get a hellish zombie, which I, I take it do spawn in the uh, nether. Uh, is breedable. Do we breed that one then? So, hellish... no. Hellish zombie. They look different. That bee looks different from that one. But they both say hellish zombie. So anyway, you have to get the hellish zombie to uh, mutate with an icy bee to get the quartz bee. That's what that actually says. So you need this bee trapped and you need this bee to basically go and pollinate a flower and then wander back to the hive and pass over the icy bee to create the quartz bee. Um, 
No, oh. Oh, there we go. So it does spawn in the world, in, but only in Crimson Forest and Nether Wastes. Right then. Seems we're going in the Nether. It's bow time. Because, you know, gas are a thing. Uh, we'll leave the... Mod server. The encased fan and those in there. And we will leave... Pretty pipe stuff in there. And the scanner, we don't know, no, no need for that either. Take some bee jars with us. Um, I do have limited flight, and I do have a way of getting into the nether. Now, I don't suppose we're in a look, and there's one of these. Oh, this is a crimson forest. Wow, what a bit of look that is. This is actually the biome where the bees are. Yeah, there we are. Found one. Just need to capture it now. Got you. I believe. Yep, hellish zombie. Right, let's get back home. We need an ICB if we've got one. I'm not sure if we have. Oh, we do. Yeah. Right, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, the most simplest way is to use trapdoors. Now, the trapdoor should see that resourceful bees up valid underscore apiary. So, at least the wooden one, it looks like the maybe all are. Yeah, it looks like the old all are, so it's a valid apiary block. Let's make sure the birch one is. zombie flower it's just any flower again okay so that's fine we've got to uh, see we've got just a lapis bee in that one and just a gold bee in this one don't particularly want to remove that so let's just lock the lapis bee in place and then import the hellish bee and what we'll do is we'll move that flower over to the back here and just here trapdoor might have to go there like that which means a bee don't think the bee can go in that same block no it'll just wander through the trapdoor Go in the block below it. Kind of works. The only problem with this trapdoor is you can't see through it, which is a bit unfortunate. So let's unlock the hellish zombie, see whether this works. So, what the hellish zombie has to do is. Oh! What are you doing? There you go. There. There's your flower. Uh, it would appear the hellish zombies taking a thing for uh, trapdoors. What are you doing, you stupid bee? Weird that they won't come up in um, JEI at all. Oh, he needs a mushroom. 
Looking at that, that's why he's going a bit weird. Needs a mushroom. Aha! Right. So, let's go back and do what we did before. We'll pop that ICB down there. Right. So, what this guy does is he gets his pollen, pollen from the mushroom and as he flies back over I'm hoping that the ICB is not too far down for it to be converted um, like I said bad trap trap door oh there we go quartz B easy as that lovely stuff so we can take this trap door back out Can lock that be um actually what produce does he give i'll let the cycle finish and see what he's, he's probably got it's probably these combs isn't it what do they give oh gold that kind of makes sense really kind of makes sense so we've no actual need for this bee in here since we have um our gold bee and this quartz bee wants to be in here too now the quartz bee let's have a quick look see what his flower is and pay more attention this time warped fungus right and it looks like it's just warped fungus it's not cycling through anything so we need to go back to the nether where we were pick up some warped fungus because i don't believe i've got any of that just have a quick check um now we have just no point looking i know we haven't Should be relatively easy to find in here. Oh, that was so close to dropping in the lava. There we go. Warp fungus. Oh, it's crimson fungus. Ah, that's a warped one. That's it. We can go back home. So hopefully this will plant. We don't need that one anymore. So let's try. Yeah, that's great. As long as it doesn't pop out the ground. Um, let's just move these. I think they're getting swallowed up by the. Um, well, maybe not actually. We'll pop that there like that and then unlock both of these two. Hopefully, it'll be fine. Yep, they're fine. So the gold bees happily working away. And let's see what the status play down here is. Well, we've got the wet combs. What do they give? Kelp. Yeah, there's no real reason for, to have that. I think with, with the breeder tank, as I put it, uh, the only one that we really need in here is the the one that creates dyes, which is the RGB. 